I do notice that the BCAAs definitely make you gassy. I mean, right before I shot this video right now, I pretty much hotboxed myself with methane. <laughs> um, so. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of AM Training. So the last couple of videos you saw was the GZCL method, AKA Jizzle, and I want to say my bad because that was actually um, a too generic version of the GZCL method. Um, I actually just pretty much read about his like methods and everything and just kind of created something on my own or kind of got his little generic template and just kind of uh, customized it to me a little bit. I didn't know he actually uploaded and made it available to download his own spreadsheets that he made which uh, is pretty embarrassing because I made my own spreadsheets and um, I spent a couple hours on it and I'm a little embarrassed with how much time I spent on it with it being not as good as his and um, also I mean it took me it took me time and I don't have time so um, I just went ahead and downloaded off of his website or his uh, vlog and pretty much uh, they had had all these beautiful spreadsheets that I like just because I don't want to spend too much time on trying to think about my training on the day of I just like to type in my stuff and then just go with it I went ahead and uh, downloaded the whole all of his spreadsheets and I was looking through them all um, a lot of the times everyone was saying that Jack and Tan program is pretty nice that's too much volume and too much time that I don't have in the gym that I won't be able to do it so I decided to do the Rippler program the Rippler program I'm liking it I just like it's like a 12 week program and I just entered my numbers and I kind of adjusted it to where I wanted to focus on my weak points uh, on so um, that is what uh, this whole series is gonna be it's gonna be a 12 week program so this is gonna be a 12 week series on kind of building up it's um, pretty much standard um, periodization uh, of course uh, with a little bit of undulating um, kind of with uh, the way that he sets it up so um, I, I'm kind of excited so uh, we'll see how this goes so I'm currently five minutes before work so I need to do this commentary real quick um, usually you see me work out but I wanted to kind of give you a preface of um, what I will be taking this is Quake my boy Jared he is sponsored by Cyvation. Um I don't I don't do pre-workout that much just because it's, the caffeine kind of kills me, which is kind of cool because the caffeine-free, um, they have a caffeine-free version, and he, look, he, he wrote it to me, AM Training, yeah. It's kind of funny when you, like, know people by their Instagram names. I'm kind of excited. I didn't try it out, of course. I'm not trying to, you know, pull a fast one. I didn't, this will be my first time trying it out. I have to go to work first, and then I will work out right after I'm actually um, leaving work early so I can work out. Um, so I'm lying here. I'm not really doing some AM training. It will actually be some PM training So please forgive me, but still give me a thumbs up on this video if you want to talk about supplements real quick I am a fan of Cyvation's um, uh, BCAA's extend which this has um, Seven grams of it. So you guys been following me for a while my boy Jared the same guy that gave me this um, Strong ass motherfucker. He gave me a bunch of supplements, and I actually got um, kind of addicted to the uh, extend I mean the BCAAs are probably the best BCAAs I've ever tasted uh, but here's a grain of salt with that is that I don't really take supplements as much but I did went ahead and you know I love free stuff so he gave me a shitload and um, my whole thing was I don't like spending money on it but I bought I buy a lot of Gatorade and Gatorade is just something I like to drink not I like to drink other stuff than water so um, which was cool because I just pretty much drink the BCA is like water, pretty much like Gatorade. And the thing is that I didn't think I could afford it because it was like, I'm like, oh my gosh, every little container like the size of this was like 20 bucks. And I was like, why am I gonna spend money on that? But um, the key thing here is in the beginning is when he gave me the BCAAs, he gave me an unflavored one. And so what I went ahead and did, I pretty much did half and half, is that the flavoring on the Cyvation Extend brand is so good that it pretty much kind of uh, doles out any other bad tasting BCAAs. I don't, know, I don't know if you ever had unflavored BCAAs. Those are really bad. It smells like fart. It's really bad. Um, so I've been addicted to the point where I am buying my own stuff. I, the key is buying the really huge servings of the Extend, and I get that from Amazon. Sponsored by Amazon, and it's like freaking amazing because it's like four, uh, it's like 40 bucks for like 90 servings, and 
that's pretty good. The only downside is that I'm drinking so much, almost like two to three servings a day, that I'm starting to smell. <laughs> I don't have a smell, but my wife is like saying that my sweat kind of smells really bad, and uh, so I had to kind of back it down. Yeah, I'm excited to try uh, Salvation Quake. Um, I will give a review later on. So I like to try out my supplements a couple months before I start talking about them because I feel like, you know, if I talk about them too quickly, I don't really have a good uh, point of view on how they really work and how I really feel about them. So um, that being said, I'm really excited to try Quake. But I am still waiting for the Costco Kirkland uh, pre-workout. So anyways, I will see you at the gym. Alright guys, so today is Thursday and you just saw me bench and squat. Now I usually like to bench on a day other than Monday because of course that's International Bench and Chest Day and you know usually the gym's gonna be busy and everyone's gonna be using up the bench press but um, just the way that my schedule works out I, I figured it worked out better that way. And you can actually change that option on Cody's spreadsheet. He does that, he gives you the option where you can choose the squat first or the bench and it just worked out better for me to do the bench press. So here's an overview of all my training, boom. So what's cool about this spreadsheet is that pretty much um, I figure he made it, he called it the Rippler program because once you change one thing, everything else ripples and changes off the other. I'm not quite sure. I didn't really read up upon it usually as much research as I usually do. It's just I've been pretty much busy with work and the family. As you can see, my training, I pretty much train on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Fridays, leaving Wednesday and the weekends open. Now I do like to keep the weekends open just for family time. I don't like to kind of worry about uh, training too much just trying to get out of the way um, not that I don't want to train on the weekend it's just you know I'm a family man I want to spend time with the family, the kids and wife you know so with this program I went ahead and changed a couple things I went ahead and changed the basic uh, um, you know overhead press I changed that to a slingshot um, I think that's gonna the carryover is gonna be pretty good for that now with this program you see that I kind of tweaked it a little bit and changed a couple of exercises and things around and just to make it a little bit more specific for me now I don't recommend doing this I I mean I don't even recommend doing this for myself it's just um, I know that uh, 12 weeks is a good commitment and I know I feel like I kind of know what's gonna work out for me 
Um, but I do recommend sticking with the program for a couple times and just seeing how it goes. I do that with every program um, before I start to kind of try to customize it because there's a lot of ways you can mess it up. So, um, but I didn't change too much. I, like I said, I went ahead and changed the overhead press to the slingshot uh, bench press and I did um, those lateral raises. Those tend to kind of irritate my, um, my shoulders, so I do a lot of uh, upright rows. Now, the thing that worries me with this program, at least that how I set it up, is that uh, it has a lot of uh, behind the neck presses and upright rows because I put those in. Now, those two movements are pretty much, a lot of physical therapists hate them just because they put you in a compromised position with um, kind of an end range external rotation or internal rotation. So with those movements, it kind of crowds the whole shoulder and doesn't give your shoulder enough room. So basically, you're kind of working into like an impingement kind of uh, range of motion. So uh, those things aren't pretty, you know, a lot of therapists will tell you that those are going to irritate your shoulder. Now, I don't think of exercises as a bad or good kind of thing. I just think of them as uh, good and bad implementation. So for me, I don't really have too much shoulder problems. The only thing I do have is kind of bicep tendonitis, but that's gone away. So I went ahead and um, put those um, and left them in there. So I'm hoping that I'm not going to get irritated and that it's going to help build on weakness because like I said, I haven't really done a behind the neck press um, exercise in in a long time. Well, I am gonna go ahead and slingshot bench. I'll see you in there. Alright guys, so that is week one of the GCCL Rippler program and everything pretty much felt really good. Um, you just saw my slingshot bench and my deadlift. The slingshot bench, I feel like I can up, pretty much up uh, the rep max, but uh, I feel like, you know, at this point, um, I think week two will take care of that as well just because I do like the whole set, uh, the last set being an MRAP set, so that's what I'm going to do next week, which, spoiler alert, I'm actually doing it right now as we speak because is um, kind of how I set up my videos, kind of do a commentary uh, right before I work out, even if it's the next week. So I do know how it's going. By the way, I do have knee and back problems. I'm not quite sure where that came from. I want to say it's because I went running for kind of, I did kind of this new thing called yogging. Um, I did do that for a good three, three miles, just off and on, really slow pace. Um, just kind of, uh, it was family time basically. Um, so I did that, uh, but, um, Oh, by the way, this Quake pre-workout, I'm not noticing anything crazy, especially since there's no caffeine. I do notice the citrulline malate, um, I do ha it has that taste, that zing, that uh, lemon drop flavor. Um, but I do notice that the BCAAs definitely make you gassy. I mean, right before I shot this video right now, I pretty much hotboxed myself with methane. <laughs> um, so, I think that's it. I just want to tell you I hotboxed myself and... Uh, train hard, train smart. That's it for commentary. Stay tuned. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up because it definitely helps out this little pitiful small channel of mine, but I do appreciate it. Reduce a little bit more range of motion that I have to, you know, have during lockout. Plus, also when the bar lifts off the floor, um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be at a higher position. So I think that really helps out. Um, I think also another thing that I did notice, I, I made my belt a little bit higher and I think, um, I don't know, just with me, I 